What is up everybody? Today we have a pretty interesting video for you today. We are going to be plating a chain that is made out of stainless steel. So we will be plating this with our 24 karat gold in our Pro Lab, and we have a special rack for it and let's get into it. All right, so a little bit about the chain. Like I said, it is made out of stainless steel, so we will be using the trival in this process and we're going to also be plating it in 24 karat gold. So this is a heavier chain as you can see and it has good connections in between each of the links and the thing with chains is you want to make sure every link is touching each other and to do that we're going to be putting it on this necklace rack. This should be on our website. Um, and we're going to be trying to make it tight on each one of these racks as we put it on and it should make a good proper connection between all of them and all of them should plate without a problem. Okay, so we need to talk about racking this necklace. So the proper way to rack a necklace is by putting it on the first one and making sure there's enough tension between the links that they're all touching each other just like that. So there's a lot of tension and for this rack it's really easy to get that tension because these hooks are stronger but today I'm going to show I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to use just to make sure that there is a proper connection between all the links so it's not plating like half of the rack and then the other half doesn't get plated so what we can do is add a little bit of copper wire just a very thin copper wire in between each of all the links and then put it on our rack. That ensures that all the links are touching and it will have a good connection for the gold to go on properly. All right, to do this, I am going to get a piece of copper that is the length of my chain or just about. And then we're going to start off by just putting it through this first one and then just going through each one of them as you go. And this can be kind of time consuming, so I'm going to skip forward and um, show it once I'm all done. All right, so I just got that copper wire threaded through this whole chain. And again, that is just optional. If you do rack it and rack it properly and have everything all nice and tight and all the links touching, you shouldn't have a problem. I just like making extra sure that I'm not going to have a problem. So that's why I put the copper wire through. So now we're going to rack it on our rack and this rack should be on our website. And um, let's get started by just linking up that first link. And then we will put in that second one. And what's nice about this rack is it does have that stable brace down here just so it makes sure your links are all tight and it's a good, nice, solid connection between everything. So now that I'm at the end, I obviously can't reach the other side. So we can just put that down here and just hook it just like that and make sure everything is touching. And that should be a good enough connection where we shouldn't have a problem. So just like that. All right, so now this is all ready to go into our ProLab and get plated. So first we're going to start off in our ElectroClean. So we'll just put our rack in there, put the necklace on it, and we'll just do this for about a minute and at five volts. All right, so it's been about a minute and we're gonna take our necklace out and we're just going to check it to make sure it is wetting out properly. So I'm going to let it drip off a little bit. And then we're going to rinse it. You can see that we're rinsing it. Make sure you rinse these good. And then we're going to make sure it has wet out properly. So that means it should not be breaking on any of the links. The water should not be breaking on any of the links. Which it's looking really good. So that means we'll move on to our next step, which is our trival. All right, and now we are doing our trival, and we'll just put this in here. 
And this is just going to put a thin layer of gold on the surface. And we want to make sure that this is in here for about 20 seconds, depending on um, how much it's plating and how fast and stuff. And right now it's looking pretty good. So we're just going to keep it in just a little longer as it plates. All right, we'll take that out now. And that's looking pretty good. You can see that gold layer on the chains. I'm just going to rinse it off real quick so we don't get the trivalve everywhere. That is looking pretty good. So now we're going to move on to putting it into our gold, which is our 24 karat gold. All right, so now that we've rinsed it off, we'll put it into our 24 karat gold. And because it's a chain and it's probably going to be worn around your neck and stuff and it's going to be rubbing and doing all that kind of stuff, you want to plate the gold on a, um, thicker so it doesn't rub off as easily and wear off as fast because if it's a thinner layer it will just come off really easily. So we're going to leave it in here for a little bit and get that gold really um, thick on our chain and once we're done I'll show you it and it should look really good. Alright so this has been in here for quite some time. We'll take it out see how it looks. Oh yeah that's looking really good. I'm gonna just rinse it off real quick. Let's see so you can see it better. Yeah that is looking really good. So we'll unrack it and I'll show it off a little bit. And I think this worked really well. All right, I just want to show it off a little bit. It is looking really good, nice and shiny. I just need to take out that copper wire and we should be able to have a better look at it. All right, here is that chain. Plated in our 24 karat gold. It is looking really good. And I'm happy how it turned out. You can see that in between each link, it's plated good. And the polished side looks really nice. And even this end clip, it looks really good. So yeah, that necklace rack for the Pro Lab is really helpful in plating this. And it just makes it super easy because you can just rack it up really nice and tight on there and make sure it has a good connection. So these are on our website if you're um, wondering where you could find one. And yeah. All right, that was plating the stainless steel chain. If you have any questions, you can go to our website and ask our tech email. And thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Hey, Holden here. I just wanted to step in at the end and just show you a little bit of our thought process in the plating this chain and how I fixed it because it didn't go as smoothly as it looked like in the video. So what I mean by it didn't go as smoothly as I liked is when I take it out of the tri right here, you can actually see on the edges that it is plating a lot more than it is in the middle. And in my head, that tells me that there's not enough tension or not enough connection between all the links for them to plate. So I had to cut the video, take it out, and then rinse it off, re-rack it on the rack so it has better connection. And then I went through the ElectroClean and went back into my tri -val and actually plated it again. And that's when I cut the video back in. And you can see that the gold is on there and it's pretty shiny and it looks not how it normally does and that's because I double plated it with the gold so the gold is thicker than normal on the chain so just trying to show you my thought process and how to how I fix this chain so it's always nice to when you're going through your process to just check your item regularly and make sure it's plating properly because that's how you catch mistakes and how you can fix them early on before there's already enough damage to where you can't fix it or you have to go back and repolish your item again and go through that whole process of fixing it. So I hope this just helps you understand a little more of how I think and how I plate items 
and hopefully you can apply that to your plating jobs and it will help you in the future. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day and this helped. Thank you.